This week on Moto Man, I bring together generations in celebration of Japan sports car. years. It's been 40 years since the Z revolutionized not only Japanese cars, but the sports car world. So it's high time for a celebration. The thing is, anytime you have a celebration, you never know who you're going to meet until you get to the party. Those of you that know me know I'm a big fan of meeting car designers, but today, today we get our first repeat guest on the show. That is Randy Rodriguez. Hey, Motor Man. Welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming to my studio. Saved me the trip down to San Diego. Yeah, it's a pleasure. I'm, I'm here for you. You're a giver. That's what I love about you. Now, I'm looking at some cool cars here, and I hear that you have some wonderful show and tell. Yeah, I, have, I bought a killer surprise for you. I, I love surprises. Didn't you know this of about course. me? Who doesn't love surprises? I actually I brought the guy who designed the 240Z. Seriously? Yeah. The, this is and this is the car that made me want to be a designer. So wait a minute. Let's get this straight. A designer brings the inspiration that made him be a designer. You brought him all the way from Japan. Yeah. He's here just for you to meet Motor Man, be on this show, and uh, tell you a little bit about it. If this guy is not a giver, I don't know who mm -hmm. is. Let's bring him on. Let's go, son. Hi. Hi. I'd like you to meet. Motor Man. Oh, Motorman. welcome to the show. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Very good to yeah, meet yeah, you. Yeah. Thanks for making the trip yeah. to visit us here. Thank you. And thanks for inspiring Randy Rodriguez here. Now, I've previously mm -hmm. met Randy. Mm -hmm. I've learned all about his background, mm -hmm. how he's loved Z's mm -hmm. throughout the mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. When he was like this big, mm -hmm. we have pictures of him and his dad mm -hmm. looking at Z's and playing with Z's. Mm -hmm. I'd love to find out your inspiration about designing cars, where you came from. Thank you. I'm uh, beginning uh, 40 years ago. 40 years ago? Yeah, in this design, planning. Uh -huh. I had the insight. <laughs> yeah. Really? So yeah. 40 years you had this design in your head? Oh, yeah. My father is a design work. I don't know. Maybe design that look like a crossing for girls mm -hmm. dressing. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah. Oh, that uh, no. <laughs> He's, he want to uh, going to uh, economy or uh, the other's uh, uh, normal study. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But uh, my mother understanding. Oh, your mother understood it? Yeah. I see. So, uh, I, I going to uh, university. Mm -hmm. My father didn't want to uh, economy uh, study or uh, the other normal study. Mm -hmm. But uh, I want to go to a uh, design school. So your, your, your dad wanted you to go to business, but you wanted to go to, to design. Yeah, but that, that design section, Nihon University. I understand, but, Jap uh, Jap Japan University? Uh, yeah. yeah. Cannot study automobile design. Either cannot, no teacher, no professor. Mm -hmm. so, it's a, so it was like industrial design today. So it's very basic yeah, design. Yeah, so you wouldn't specialize in transport. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I study uh, myself. Everything. So you were studying mm. magazines and books in English when you were at Nihon yeah, University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I want to uh, car design, and uh, only sports car is uh, my thinking is uh, very important. Matsuo-san kind of did this like skunk, skunk Works project on yeah. his own, and then uh, yeah, when Mr. K saw it, kind of gave him the blessing, and then he asked for to make it a, an official project. Wow. So 
It's kind of a... Yeah. This is a, I'm finding this is a big trend with you, mm -hmm. that very individual, from starting back in school mm -hmm. when you were living with your parents, mm -hmm. to the university, and mm -hmm. now to working at Nissan, everything was very much individual projects for you. Yeah. So that time, uh, 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 my design is uh, my philosophy, mm. not styling, only not styling. Mm -hmm. So packaging, uh -huh. all kind of packaging, and the product engineering, and the other the detail elementary is a very important. So which one of those would come first, the design or the, or the packaging? Packaging is very important. So that's the most important to you, yeah. the packaging. However, the Japanese mankind and the U.S. mankind, mm -hmm. very different tone. Very much so. So, yes. so then we can see that this pa packaging is a cannot, can using easy, comfortable spacing. It's For a, everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, designed to basic. So there are the big engine, six en cylinder engine. Now some mount. of the early prototypes, you were looking at four cylinders for this, yeah, from what I saw. Yeah, beginning of four cylinder, spy, uh, spider or... Uh, yes, small it looked beautiful as a spider. So, 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 and so. then I saw a Targa as yeah, well. Yeah. That but was very nice. Small, small engine. Yes. But uh, I think uh, uh, coming uh, 70 age mm. is a uh, necessary uh, aerodynamic and safety and uh, exhaust air pollution. Mm and the necessary uh, American highway for dashing and uh, fuel consumption, everything using uh, necessary. So when cylinder. you started the idea of this project, before mm -hmm. you even put pen to paper, mm -hmm. you envisioned this as a car for the US? Oh yeah, well, I am uh, studying. Oh, oh uh, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> only a uh, sketching, not necessary. More 20 model I make with mm -hmm. the full-size model. 20 models? Yeah. You did 20 models of this mm -hmm. car. So many try. And uh, the other, the, this car is a basic car. Yeah. Uh, Two-seater coupe. Mm -hmm. The other, the four-seater. And uh, Targa roof. Now, so you, you decided on a couple, you looked at a different, a, a number of different designs. Mm -hmm. now, I've seen a lot of designers. I don't think I've ever seen 20 designs yeah, that's, for one car. Is that to this day? Is that? No, they don't, they don't do that. They don't do 20. That's, I'd love to have that. I'd love yeah. to have 20 full size. How uh, many did you do for this car? Um, well, we started with the scales, a few yeah. scales um, from the Global Studios, and then there was like three full size cars representing. Three? Yeah, three full size representing each of the major design studios that's around the world. So to have 20 of this is, that's. A, What's even more amazing is he does it all <laughs> on a computer. Yeah. You had to get out there with clay and do mm -hmm. it by hand. No, very systematic design and producting now every company. I've noticed that. It seems like there's a, there are very few cars out there mm -hmm. that, are, that are not mm -hmm. designed by committee. And then there are cars like this, yeah. which says some guy got passionate, so, got excited about this. So that, for example, this guy is a very wide fender. Yeah. So engineer want this line here. Uh -huh. The easy press, pressing. Easier pressing, yeah. I understand. Yeah. But uh, this deep press is uh, very difficult. What can make here? He, so, he asked to me. So very difficult to make in here. So I dividing this piece. So, oh, so you cut this piece off the yeah, fender yeah, to be yeah, able yeah. to do the pressing. Yeah. My, my idea. That's your... So you have a background of both a designer and, a, and an engineer. Yeah, and you did look like Look at this guy. This guy's like Superman. He does everything. So changing a long nose type yeah. is a very easy making. OK. I will, this type piece only changing. That's it? Yeah. And uh, this sharp making is a uh, pressing, very mm. difficult. Mm. So what making here? So engineer asked me. Yeah. So I want by plastic. So that makes it easier to mold. Yeah. I offer to uh, this plastic is a, do, do you know, FRP mm -hmm. is a very easy making here. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I'm going to a company, mm -hmm. a plastic company. So that company making a baseball sheet. Oh, the seats, baseball yeah. seats. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
necessary are easy production and mm -hmm. mass production, very yes. important. So every part is a very easy making this mm. design, only not the styling. And the styling is a very important. So all kind of people looking, mm. oh, sports car, new type of sports car, yeah. understanding is a, my point over styling. So the whole point was you wanted to make sure the car, it, people noticed it immediately, mm -hmm. but it still needed to be affordable. Mm -hmm. Masuo-san, he really took it to whole, a whole new equation. There's yeah. so many, I keep on going back to so many new things he tried on this car that you wouldn't, like you and I take for granted nowadays, but back then, just, just the way this dashboard is shaped, the one yeah. piece, Instead of it being literally a board, he was saying he didn't want a flat piece of board. He wanted some shaped and molded plastic to get these humps here for the gauges. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah and this is something that you see on the current car. It's the, we to, still, to this day, yeah. Yeah, we still retain that cue. A lot of the designs that you ha you showed, mm -hmm. the early ones, were open top cars. Mm -hmm. What went into the decision of making this a closed car? Why did you decide to go originally with a closed car? Yeah, before I beginning uh, open type, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, maybe 70, 90, uh, 1970, beginning uh, safety roll is uh, oh, yes. very important. Uh, roll over. Yeah. If we roll over, that time safety space necessary. I understand. But. Uh, Open type is a very difficult. Only a window shield frame, mm -hmm. not strong, but the under frame is a necessary. A very hard strong. Yeah. Is a there were no pop up roll bars yeah, back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I very understand. Difficult. So that's your marketing hat. You realize that it would sell better with a hard top, based on U.S. regulations. So uh, that time, common sense. Mm -hmm. Why necessary? Uh, Big hatch gate, hatch uh -huh. So usually sports car is a small trunk. Mm -hmm. Is a common sense. And uh, if you are open type, uh, closed type, Jaguar or E type or Ferrari, small and Toyota Nissan GT. Mm -hmm. It's a very small hatch. Oh, very small. Yeah. So luggage only small luggage only, but uh, I necessary. Uh, Big luggage. Now, were you married at the time when you designed this? Uh, that time I married. You were married. So yeah. your wife, she wanted so, storage. Yes, one week food. Yes. And necessary to carry on here. So, but uh, I want a big uh, hatchback. So that time, usual uh, this uh, hinge. Yeah. Is a usual is a uh, the other car is a outside hinge. Yeah, that's very British to have the outside. Outside, hinge. yeah. It's a very easy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this hinge, myself draw, drawing and the test making this piece. So once again, your engineering skills. Yeah. So, so you engineered the functionality of a new type of hinge. Yeah. So I displayed to the engineer. This big uh, hatchback mm -hmm. is uh, too heavy. I can imagine. So necessary a big spring here. There's a, there are all kinds of cars. Yeah. Torsion beam spring here. Too much. Yeah. So it wouldn't be a clean design. I uh, try to here. Now, were, they, were, a, were a, other a car part. manufacturers doing this kind of... No, 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 no. This is the first time in the world. First time you had... They still use this today? Yeah. He, well, he yeah. borrowed this design from you. That's, so, yeah, that was his idea. That, that air, air spring. I call it air, air spring. So, did you design the air spring or did you take it from yeah. another application? I, I look in a, a movie, news, news movie. Okay. So, French fighter. Oh, okay. Again with also, the aviation? Yes, sir. And, and down to airport. Okay. So canopy go up to... Uh, oh, yeah. The canopy that opens up sure, the top of the... That so the, the, the pilot can get in. It's the same thing. So, so, so this came directly from an yeah, airplane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's making a very famous uh, damper company in yeah. France, Du Carbon. Really? Yeah. So I want coming to a patent. Wow. The license I, I want to use it. 
So, oh, did you manufacture this part yourself, Nissan? They manufactured yeah, it. Yeah, under Nissan Motor Company. Really? Yeah. So I ordered. But the engineer, first time looking, so never experienced. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And it's used to this day. <laughs> but then again, not everybody gets to be selected as this is my design that becomes the iconic car of the company they're working for. It's like your design being picked to be the Corvette, to be the, the Jaguar XK, to be the Mercedes SL. I mean, these are the kind of, this is the role you're stepping in here. Yeah, I know, I, I feel blessed. You know, just very lucky. I, I mean, that changes your life. Yeah, no, I just, because I, when the project first started, mm. I was drawing exterior, interior. I just, I just wanted to be part of the program some way. Yeah. You know, and that would have been happy just, you know, in that way. But for actually my design exterior to be selected for the, you know, for the yeah advanced concept. You know, it's, yeah, it's a total dream come true. Yeah. Well, this is this is was the ultimate Z car. So we really oh. tried to get this car as close as possible to this one. So also same, this uh, look like a, this beat mm -hmm. is a looking a strong looking. Actually, Randy, did you tell Matsuo-san your inspiration? A lot of the inspiration came from sharks. Mm -hmm. Very powerful and aggressive and, mm -hmm. and strong. So mm -hmm. I'm glad that comes along and reads through. And the looking uh, eye, a headlight is a looking eye. Yeah. Eye, the very you got it. Sharp looking eye. So what was it like? Your you, you introduce the car, mm -hmm. the world goes nuts for this car, mm -hmm. they sell a ton of them. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like that you design this car and it's all over the world? Yeah, I'm very enjoyful and uh, satisfied. I could only imagine how satisfying. So, in the midnight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At midnight? Midnight. Tome Highway. Uh -huh. So, i testing driving. So you, my, myself. So you now you add a new job, test driver. No, no, no. Matsuo-san, no, no, no. the test driver. My, my, uh, my enjoy testing. <laughs> so midnight, I try to testing go. Yeah. So one more model, normal model uh, followed yeah. this car. So and adding axle on. So behind the long distance. He couldn't keep up. No, give up. <laughs> he gave up. <laughs> the, so long nose is over to 200 kilometer. 200 ki kilometer, easy. On the public highway? Yeah. Wow. Do you know, usual uh, passenger or truck running, mm -hmm. so he is passing the, this inside line. Mm -hmm. So full brake. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is like maybe 80 kilometer. <laughs> so you're going more than double his speed. Yeah. yeah. Grass. Mm -hmm. Going to uh, air pressure, mm -hmm. going up about one inch. Really? <laughs> so a lot of noise. Vibration. The engine food is uh, go up to center this area, one inch up. So you're driving 200 kilometers an hour, the windows are shaking, the hood is shaking, and you're still going. <laughs> too, too dangerous, I believe. <laughs> Do you test drive your own cars today? My own cars? Yeah. Um, well, I was fortunate to, to do a little bit of, but that was just for me for fun. Just, just for fun, okay. Yeah. Just this guy, he does really well. I know, he's he's like a Leonardo. This guy's like MacGyver of design. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very <laughs> enjoyable. Yeah. 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 That's fun. But you, you came out of it fine. Yeah. And you didn't tell your boss you went that fast. Yeah. Yeah. Because he can't fire you now. So when were you, when did you first come to Nissan? Uh, summer of 2002. Straight, came straight from uh, my Center for Creative Studies in Detroit. Yeah, so that pretty, was your first job out of school? Yeah. It's not pretty bad exciting. first jobs out of school, wow. Yeah. No, it was awesome, right? Actually, what I wrote in my entrance portfolio to the school before I started school, I wrote in there in my letters saying that I'd hope to one day maybe work for Nissan. And then it happened. So literally, dream comes true. Yeah. Matsuo-san. Hey. I don't know if you're aware of this. Mm -hmm. But not only did a lot of people buy these cars, mm -hmm. but you inspired mm -hmm. a follower. Mm -hmm. Like you're like a cult rock star. Mm -hmm. This is one of your followers here. Mm -hmm. He has been 
you, well, you tell them. 17 years, 18 years, you've been a Z fan practically all your life. Yeah, my dad got a Z car for my brother when he was uh, 11 years old. Yeah, I had this car, I would drive my, my brother and sister like to school every day. Like, we were, they were sitting on there. Seriously? Oh, yeah, just somebody sitting here usually. Talk about memories. You really do have memories with this thing. I mean, it's not yeah. just your first love. I mean, this thing actually gave you mobility for the first time in your life. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, guy's first car. You just, you know, something as cool as this, you know, I just, I'm not going to forget it. But how old were you then? I was seven. Seven. So You started seven on your product. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when I was seven years old, that's pretty much when I just knew of the car and then start, started to fall in love with it as a brother. And what was it about the car that got you this excited? Just the way it looked. Because actually this car didn't even have any floors in it. I have a picture with it's miss, completely missing the floorboards because this is in Canada and they just, you know. They just rotted out. Yeah, just yeah. rotted out. But just from the way that the car looked, you just fell in love with it. Even when you sat inside, the car didn't even move yet, but just sat inside behind the wheel, just even the interior felt very special. So you fell in love with a car that had no floor and didn't even move? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you feel comfortable behind the wheel of a 240? Yeah. Look at this tiny steering wheel. That's the first thing I do is put like, I'm it's, like a race car guy. I like to like make things racing and stuff, slam it on the ground. So having that car, I, that's when I just went nuts for the car, mm -hmm. just being able to drive it. Because, you know, I'm 16 years old and the car felt super fast. It's a yeah. quick car and it just felt super fast. And the way it looked and everything, just, you know, I was, I was done. Did you have any idea when you were 16 driving around in your own 77 280 that you wanted to be this guy designing this car? It was kind of, it's kind of distant, but yeah, I just, I love the car and I love to draw. Mm -hmm. And I was drawing this, this is probably one of the first cars that I was drawing. I was drawing this and I was drawing So your high school notebook you were drawing this car. Yeah, drawing Z cars and actually my dad had one of those like uh, customized love vans or something. So I was doing <laughs> vans too. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is like the first car that I started drawing yeah. a lot of and trying different things. But yeah, never in my in wildest dreams would I have imagined that I'd be actually work for Nissan or have a hand in this. So, so it wasn't even a dream back then, it was just you just love you just love the cars. I love the car and I love to draw and but I, I didn't actually think that I would that that could actually be possible one day. That's amazing. So when did you first come into contact or know about Matsuo san? Um, you know, he, he he said that he, he approved of the of the new car. Yeah. So that's kind of what I hope that you know maybe I hope that you know I did something that he would approve of. You know? He didn't just approve, I mean he really liked it. He loved that you shortened it. He loved the strength lines you put into it and saw that you got some inspiration of strength. I mean, he got it. He got your design language that you took from Sharks. Yeah. Yeah, it's just recently. Got to think um, about that one. Yeah. Well, I know the answer. Just because uh, there's that Gortz myth. Oh, so, um, what's that? That Albert Gortz actually designed the car, mm -hmm. but um, he had a hand in the 2000 GT. Yeah. A lot of people think of Albert Gortz as was the designer for this car mm -hmm. when actually Matsuo-san. It was Matsuo-san. Matsuo-san. Hey. It's been an absolute pleasure yeah. to meet you mm -hmm. and hear the real story behind the, the really what is arguably yeah. one of the most iconic yeah. Japanese, forget about Japanese, just iconic sports cars out there. I can't thank you enough for coming to the studio and joining us. Also, Sam, I am very enjoyful talking with you. Motorman speak is a very well. Well, I appreciate that. I have gotten you a gift. Oh, yeah? Yes. We spent some time with Randy earlier mm -hmm. at where he designed this car, mm -hmm. the car you inspired him to design. Yeah. He has been such a passionate follower of your work. Yeah. It led him on a career from somewhat, sometime being a doctor mm -hmm. to now being a doctor of designing cars. And I'd like to present you with a video mm -hmm. of his work you can take this home and you can watch this in Japan and see the prodigy you inspired. Well, yeah. thank you. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Gozaimasu. And thank you. Yeah, much Gandhi. Actually, I want to give you a hug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, we're all about yeah. the love here. <laughs> yeah. All about the love yeah. here at Moto Man. You see that? Big family. Hi. Car I'm guys, the, world around. I am a presenter. Zika. Oh, well, thank um, you very much. Yeah. Uh, name, name. Pin, yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look just like you now. Yeah, yeah, see yeah. that? Yeah. And maybe down here. Let's see what we got. Make sure I get this on right here without sticking myself. Okay, a little bit of branding. The Z Legacy, 40 years apart. 
We've got a bit of a test here. We've got Omar Liggett with us. He is the owner of this factory restored. Nissan restored this very car in 1996 to what it is today. Arguably one of the nicest seas in the country. Matsuo-san come all the way from Japan. Mm -hmm. And while you weren't here, he improved your car. Let's see okay. how much you know your car. What did he improve? Can you see it? <laughs> The original guy that designed it improved your very car. You know what, I, I, I can't see the detail. I mean, it's improved just by him touching just it. By <laughs> <laughs> you know what, yeah. I, I can't tell. So this guy thinks he's a real 240Z fan. The guy owns three <laughs> Zs and he can't find it. He took a piece of tape. He asked our camera guy for a piece of tape and taped up the bottom to clean it up so you don't see any of the bottom and the body. See that? Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Arigato so how did it feel? You met your inspiration. You met the guy that made you the man you are today. That's amazing. It's surreal. I, this, this car is, you know, is brilliant. This 240Z. And to me, like every line is perfect on it. Yeah. You know? and it's just such a great car. And I actually know that he was more than just a designer. He was. He also helped engineer it. He was an engineer, he was a marketer, yeah. he was even a test driver, we found out. Yeah, he's just, and, yeah, all around, it's amazing. Designer, engineer, marketing man, and of course, stunt test driver. In a sense, Matsuro-san is a design ninja. In hearing his stories about the development of the 240Z, one can't help but think of the term more than the sum of its parts. Or actually, it's converse, the parts. Matsuro-san reimagined things like a fender, a wiper stock, or something as mundane as how a hatchback works. In doing so, he inspired an entirely new generation of designers, guys like Randy. I have to thank my friend Randy for bringing such an amazing party guest to the 40th anniversary celebration of the Z. As a 40th anniversary present to Matsuo-san, yeah. we're taking him for a ride in a Packard. Not exactly a Nissan. Two did guys. Very nice. Uh, I have a bit of a celebration, but tell us what you drive. Tell us the Q. The Q. That's because my lease just ended. Oh my yeah, 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 yeah. This is the guy that designed the current Z. He drives a Q. He drives it because he thinks it's cool. He thinks it's sort of funky. In reality, he needs to be driving a Z. He needs to be eating his own dog food. 